All right. Slightly different, but not really kind of topic today. Um, so the 21st is my birthday and, uh, I can already start to see the, 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 uh, posts rolling in. Uh, thank you in advance also for, um, for the birthday wishes. Uh, it's good to know that some people <laughs> still don't dislike being associated with my, uh, with my name enough to say, Hey, I hope, uh, Hope you can have a, a fun day on the anniversary of not dying another year. Um, but basically, the, like, the, I didn't think I'd make it this far, you know? I didn't think I'd make it to anywhere near, like, 30, and now I'm, like, 29, and, uh, it's it's like it's it's not a midlife crisis or anything and i frankly kind of don't think i'll get one of those it's just like i thought somebody would like kill me by now or you know i would i would get into a tragic accident um we'll see you know i mean there's time there's always time but basically you know i i didn't think i'd make it this far um and I also didn't think that I'd still have my sort of position on uh, on social media that I do. I I still, you know, I'm 10% of the followers that I was on Twitter uh, when they banned me. You know, and I still wouldn't mind getting those people back. But the point is that, like, this year was a nice year to remind me remind me that I need to put my presence in places that it benefits me and in places that it's not going to be able to be removed. Because the problem with Twitter is they're liars. I went over this in my rant video against Hyundai. I went over this in my rant video against Parler. Um, you know, I constantly pointed out because it bears mentioning. Twitter are liars. Facebook are liars. They're all liars. Um, because they, you know, they claim they want to foster a healthy and diverse discussion. And then they ban people who aren't breaking rules. Because they don't like what they're saying. I'm one of those people. I got banned this year and immediately had... Uh, like 17,000 less people who were seeing my content. And it was a hit to my income. It still kind of is. Um, you know, but it, it was a sobering reminder that I'm relying on corporations to spread my anti-corporation message. I'm relying on government stooges to spread my anti-government message. I'm, you know not guilty of what they claim, but I'm not innocent here, uh, either, you know, um, I put all of this time and energy and effort into an account that they could just blink out of existence, or at least out of public existence, it's still there, they're lying about that too, uh, they could unsuspend me at any point, but they won't do it, but my, my general idea here, and the reason I'm bringing all this up, um, is because, you know, this year has been a year of seeing who's still there to support me. This, a bunch of bullshit, uh, you know, the, the Jocelyn Glaybox situation, the, the, the fucking, <laughs> uh, bullshit with, with the fascists who wanted me off the internet to begin with. Like, there are a ton of people who are mass-reporting my content, not the least of which are pedos and uh, murderous statists and feds. and they, they want me silent, you know? They've wanted me silent for a while. It's why I'm surprised every day I wake up, you know? Every day I wake up not destroyed 
is another day to have victory against all these people who want me gone. All these people who hate me with no real reason, who uh, don't have logical reasons to disagree with what I say, but still get pretty mad when I say it. Um, all these people are sort of like, like bricks in the wall, as it were. Um, so I keep on feeling like every time I reach another birthday, it's like, it's like a milestone. It's like something, time is an illusion, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. It's totally arbitrary. Um, there's a reason people don't celebrate every month or every week or every day, you know? And it's the same reason that celebrating once a year is kind of fruitless. But, you know, it's sort of like because these arbitrary milestones have been created, I sort of feel like every time I do successfully make it, uh, I won, you know? It's another year of victory. It's another year of not giving up. And I didn't. Um, I made a lot of choices that, uh, that I think in, in hindsight I might not have. But, you know, I found out a lot about a lot and I got a lot of experience in becoming very resilient this last year. I got to see who actually stood where and how much vindictiveness would be aimed my way. How many people would try to sabotage me. It was a worthwhile experience. Um, but I'm still here. You know, I'm still here. And that is huge to me. A lot of my words aren't. You know, my account is gone. Um, unlikely to be resurrected, although they could do it at any point. My account is gone. But um, I have so many other accounts. And people interested in hearing what I have to say. People interested in seeing the next chapter, right? I still have so much in the works. I have, like, books and shit. Uh, a game that I'm writing notes for. Uh, you know? My, my energy drink brand, which I plan to launch at some point if I can get enough capital together. But, like, generally... I'm just trying to stay afloat and have been for some time. And there have been a lot of people trying to sink my boat. You know, a lot of people. Fascists don't like me because I expose their bullshit and I expose that they're just as bad as the people they claim to hate. Tankies don't like me for similar reasons. Pedos don't like me because I've been going after them extremely hard for years, and I have not slowed down. I still have that petition up. You know, nearly 13,000 signatures, two years, and no action. Because Twitter is a pack of lying cunts, and they don't give a shit about abuse. They don't give a shit about uh, ch protecting children. They don't care about protecting anyone. It's not about protection. It's about control. It's about making money on a platform that they can isolate the message enough on that people won't walk away from it. That's what it's about. Make no fucking mistake. So, I go after all these people, you know? I go after corporations and governments and the troops and cops. And I constantly expect every time that something is going to shut me up. But it hasn't yet. It hasn't yet. And I've made it yet another year. But then we come to the crux. Because 
I'm one person, you know? And if anybody ever does shut me up by, like, you know, killing me, if I ever die because, you know, I'm a pedestrian and a car hit me or something, a veering car came off onto the sidewalk and made me into paste, you know, my message is a lot of them have impermanence because of the platforms I've put them on, because of the people that I have given the keys to my kingdom with. That has to change. I have been pushing things like blockchain solutions, sure, but only just recently have I fucking migrated to L li library. And I hope y'all get an account there. But basically, you know... I talk a big game about this kind of shit, and I don't use it nearly as much as I should. I still primarily use Twitter and Facebook. And I probably won't stop that, uh, because Twitter and Facebook have huge user bases, and I'm trying to reach people. I'm trying to get to them and tell them that there's fucked up shit that needs to be addressed or we're all going to fucking die. Right? So... I kind of need to get my shit in gear. So my plans are to post a lot more on my site, to post a lot more YouTube videos just like I am right now, um, to make sure that they're all synced to the blockchain, to make sure that I use uh, PocketNet because PocketNet is awesome if you want freedom of speech. Um to make sure that I get on all the alt platforms more regularly because all I'm getting is normies. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? But I can't only do that. The people who wanted truth have walked to platforms where it's not being censored. And that's totally reasonable, you know? So I've got to go where people are. And that means everywhere. That means all of it. So... Just to be very clear, I have fucked up. I need to make more content, spend less time on mainstream social media, and more time making permanent shit they can't silence. Because they want me gone, you know? All these fuckers that I have proven to be fuckers. I have, I have shown the needle on the fuckerometer, and they are high up there, right? Um, they want me to shut up, but I won't do it without being forced, right? And by that, I mean permanently. They want me to shut up, and I need to be on platforms that can't arbitrarily switch off my voice. I need to be on places where I get, like, for instance, a seed phrase that I can use to unlock my account that's a permanent seed phrase associated with a permanent blockchain. That's what I need. That's what everybody needs, though. And that's, like, I guess one of the cruxes of my point. Like, get on alternative social media. Stop relying on centralized social media and acting like even, you know, things like parlor alternatives. I went over why parlor isn't an alternative to big tech and never was. Neither are any of these centralized social media outlets. They will fucking censor you if they goddamn feel like it. So you need to be on places that don't do that. You need to be places that will let you speak truth to power. Post in your freedom. Stay controversial. And completely completely off-the-wall shit if you want to. Any platform that would ban Alex Jones is not a platform that supports any minority. Any platform that would silence people because they're conspiracy theorists is not here for your liberty, and it certainly doesn't care about your rights. It'll put on a nice coat of paint for your favorite Pride holiday, but it won't actually do shit for you, and it will do shit against you. It will cut you off the second it feels like it. So, 
I thought I'd go through my birthday wishes. Um, and I wrote them down in this, in, this, in this handy little notepad document. Follow me on as many social networks as possible. Sub to my videos. Whichever platform you prefer. Whichever platform they're on, that is. Create and verify, important, an account on Library and PocketNet using my links so you can support my content in both places. Um, and that's very important, too, because it means that you can not only support me, but anybody else you want to. That'll come in a little bit later. Support the people I promote, as I was saying. Whether they pay me or not, this ain't a one-man effort. I am going to die at some point. Or I might be injured and laid up in the hospital and I can't talk to people. Or I might, you know, uh, make a mistake while, while training. You know, do some parkour and smack my head into some cement. Who knows? Who fucking knows? I don't. I don't know what tomorrow holds. I'm not a psychic. So it's not just me, right? If you think somebody has something good to say, support them. Promote them. Make sure that these people get your support. And if I promote somebody, like I've promoted the fuck out of Corbett Report, Scott Horton, uh, True Stream Media, go support them. These people have helped cement a lot of my beliefs and helped me, you know, get the mentality necessary to successfully predict a lot of things, uh, to get my own personal theories and ideas more cohesive. These people have been there for a lot of people and done a lot of good. So make sure that they know that, you know? Uh, subscribe to their content. Like their content. Don't, don't just watch the video and then close the window. Um, share their content. Make sure that other people see it. If somebody's talking about very important shit and you don't share it, you're one of the reasons people don't know. Um, five, throw me feedback. Likes, comments, subs, and more. Tell platforms to boost what I say. Right? You want to you wanna get my, my name up in the algorithms? You want to be one of the bold people who promote the most uh, aggressively negative person on Liberty Twitter? You want to get this conspiracy theorist who's been covered by a significant amount of people, including being the anime villain in the first ever meme review? You want to get my fucking face on more people's timelines? Then you gotta do it by interacting. You know? Tell me I'm full of shit if you think I'm full of shit. That's interaction. Like it. Um, subscribe. Do things like that. Because otherwise my content is going nowhere. And I'll still be treading water in a year. Like, I don't make much at all. Um, and I'd like to change that, you know? I can't do that if my content isn't watched. And I certainly can't do it if it isn't interacted with and shared. You know? Which brings me to six, which is share my content. Um, seven. If you have a show, consider having me on. Few people have the balls to do it. I was on two shows this week. Uh, the first show was uh, Trisha Stewart Mann's Gingerarchy. And uh, I went over uh, my experience with Gamergate. And I went over the fact that, uh, that, you know, it wasn't what the media said it was. And, of course, the media lied. It was about media lies. Feel free to check that out. Um, I was also on Why Libertarian to talk about my Gray Man article and... It spiraled out of control, as it sometimes does, because I'm a conspiracy theorist, and I kind of think everything's connected. Uh, I think we're going to make some plans to have me back on to discuss some of this other shit, but, like, um, I've been on, you know, Timeline Earth back when it was still Friends Against Government. Uh, you know, I've, I've been on uh, the Pseudo-Lectual. I've been on uh, uh, Free Man Beyond the Wall. I've been on programs... Most of them not lately, though. Most people don't seem to want to associate with me for reasons. Um, and many more who might not mind don't want the reputational damage associated with saying, hey, he's not so bad. 
Uh, most people don't even retweet things that I put out. Most people avoid my Twitter, avoid my social media in general. And I can't, I can't be honest and say that it doesn't bother me a little, you know? I can do a ton of research, I can have things right, I can predict things like, uh, you know, the massive control net and the lab leak hypothesis before, uh, <laughs> before anybody in the mainstream media is willing to entertain it. Like, I talked about that shit in the beginning of last year. I talked about all of the shit that is now considered, okay, yeah, but at least it's not X. People are making excuses for their branded tyranny. It's fucking pathetic. But I, I was there, and, and, and I made sure that the truth got out. But most people don't share my shit, you know? So if you want me to be successful, feel free to share. You know, if you, wanna, if, if you want me to give your show content, feel free to have me on, you know? Or tell somebody about me. I was referred to the Why Libertarian podcast by Sal Mayweather, um, you know, and I, I'm one of those people who like will take the opportunity probably to have that conversation, whatever that conversation may be, right? Um, but I don't get out there on my own channels because most people actively ignore them or have me blocked or muted or something, you know? Eight, if you like my social media posts, consider actually hitting the repost button. I see, like, a ton of likes on most of my things, uh, but then barely any retweets. Nobody is seeing what I'm saying. And I'm not shadow banned on Twitter right now. You know, I haven't been for a significant chunk of this account's existence. I could be seen in a lot of places for a temporary period, Right? But most people don't hit share, they just hit like. You know, people who regularly retweet other people aren't retweeting me, even though I'm saying similar things. Funny how that works. It's like, my name is Mud or something. Uh, and, and it's not just, like, conspiracy theory, theory in this regard, either. Like, there are some places with active rules against mentioning my name. Um, like the back alley, for instance which got mad because I leaked a bunch of screenshots of them being racist and supporting an active pedophile, you know? Um, so people generally tend to either quell discussion of me or remove me from their circles or a variety of other things. If you want my content seen, you got to put it in front of people, you know? Uh, and nine, consider financially supporting what I do if you find it valuable and worthwhile. That's straightforward, you know? Ten, and this is the most important thing to me, more important than anything else there, to be honest. Learn what I discuss well enough that you don't have to reference me, because someday I'll be dead and my ideas won't live on without you. This sort of thing regularly occurs to me. I'm not afraid of death. I'm just pissed off at it. It's one of the reasons I hate things like, oh, fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to whatever, the dark side. It's bullshit. I'm pissed off at death because death means my story is over. Death means that for the vast probability, people will say, huh, in that odd, and then move on. There are some people who care enough about me that they would actually go through some grief, but the vast majority of people don't even know me. The vast majority of people don't know me and actively avoid content like mine when they see it. So, you know, I'm, I like to think, pretty well-researched, uh, pretty valid takes, but... You need to learn this stuff. It's not enough that I say it. If it doesn't permeate the zeitgeist, if it doesn't get into the public view, if people aren't, like, incorporating these things and understanding them well enough that they can say to their friends, to their neighbors, yeah, you know, this is the way it is. Because they're trusted in those circles. They can use that trust to say, hey, you know... 
I have fucking these ideas, um, and maybe we should adopt them. Maybe we should do something with that. I keep on fucking getting these stray hairs, like, right on the edge of my nose. Um, you know, without you guys, without spreading the ideas through faces that aren't mine, through content that I didn't write, it's not going to get anywhere. In fact, I'm wasting time. Um, even if it doesn't get attributed to me, I don't believe in IP. Just understand it well enough that you can help the information war. Because that's exactly what this is. This is an information war. They are trying to silence people like me. They are trying to take my information away from everyone else, no matter what they want. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to do it because the more consolidated and isolated the message can be, the more controllable the common person is. Because they don't see an alternative, and because the alternative is blasphemy to the current order. So if you want to see me succeed, do that. If you don't want to see me succeed and are just watching this video for the fuck of it, uh, but there are other people you want to see succeed, do it for them. Just use this as a guide for how to help people you find valuable. But my primary point is that, like, if these messages aren't getting anywhere, if they come out of my mouth, go into your brain, and then stay there, they're not being helpful. So, you know, this was just my self-indulgent birthday rant because I, uh, you know... It's my birthday, I'll cry if I want to. You know? But the whole point is that, like, they can try to silence me if they want. But ultimately, it's up to you guys. Ultimately, they can't stop us all. Ultimately, they can't silence any signal whose boosters are sufficiently loud. So make some fucking noise. You know? Get out there and do shit. When I say smash the state, I mean it. Smash. You know? This isn't gonna work if it's just one person. And I'm probably not the best emissary for it anyway. But if I can make my contribution... And if I can count on people to boost it, I'll keep doing it. You know? This daily vlog thing is actually easier than I thought it would be. I can keep doing this for a long time. I just want to make sure that my breath isn't wasted. There have been a lot of people who have said that I was, you know, instrumental in their libertarianism, or instrumental in them becoming anarchists, or, like, I, I helped them wake up, or I showed them the way, proverbially speaking. I live for those stories. But it's also sort of upsetting that, like, some dude with his, with his hair and his beard in, 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 like, a shitty room in a room share, or a house share, is the one delivering these messages, you know? Or that the people who are tirelessly working on this, not just me, the people who are tirelessly working on this constantly have to worry about things like income, constantly have to worry about things like signal, because nobody in the normie space is willing to talk to them, and a significant amount of the people in their spaces only interact with their content to say, huh, in that odd. And nothing is done. We could be very powerful. These people are mortals. There are billions of us. And only millions of them. We have so much fucking power that they don't want us to think we do. But that power can only work if we're willing to seize it and operate it. So, with that being said, it's about half an hour into this. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna probably play some video games and go to sleep. And I'm gonna wake up 29 years old and they still haven't shut me up. And they never fucking will. Anyway, this was brought to you by Opsect Rip. 240 glorious pixels of libertarian born uh, Shemog laden uh, news and uh, commentary in like 60 seconds around there. Feel free to subscribe and let him know that his money went to a good cause. Be well, everyone. Smash the state.